Who is that a, ring, Lily? Oh, this one? Yeah. This is the ring that I found with my grandmother's house when I was a very young girl. It was like she, after she passed, she had so much jewelry, like just mountains and mountains of jewelry. What? And this is the only one that was actually real and worth anything, but it was covered in so much shit that like no one knew, and it was the only thing that they're like, you fit that, That's just take beautiful. it. And now then I found out it was like diamonds and white gold. And it's it was beautiful. Like, Thank you. Dang. My grandma doesn't Thank believe in jewelry. It's against her religion. <laughs> oh, wow. That's going to be a tough will, huh? Usually that's something Did you believe in money? About. Mennonite! <laughs> Mennonite! <laughs> Table talk, where we talk about your topics and your questions and stuff using the hashtag table talk or the subreddit r slash source fed. Who do we have? Special guest Leah Marie Johnson. Hello. Yay! Hi. And I'm Trisha Hersberg. Leah, welcome to the I show. Know. This is your first time, baby girl. So great to be here. I know. So great to be so here. Great to be so here. great to be here. <laughs> so uh, since since you're a, a complete table talk noob, Newbie, uh, you mean, yeah. get to pick. Oh, oh no! Hello. Oh, let's do it. Okay, okay. I Leah just my returned eyes. from Coachella. Hi, oh so yeah. Racer. She had a great time. It was amazing. Uh -huh. Okay, here I go. Are you ready? Yes, I'll read it out loud. Mm -hmm. What's a song? Oh wait, should I say their name? Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. Lindsay K. Burton. Mm -hmm. What a what's a song you used to like, but now you can't stand? Hashtag oh. table talk. Oh. oh. This you is know? good for you, just yeah. coming from Coachella. You're I know. On the yeah. mind anyway. Jeez, there's so many like songs that they just play on the radio way, way too, too much. much. You used yeah. to like and now can't stand. I know what mine is. It's that happy song. Oh my god. <laughs> and I loved it. It is so happy anymore. Yeah, oh, all the really time. time. I was like, in the beginning, I was literally like, this That's is like a mood changer. And Come then on. I was like, now I'm like. No. And it's on it, everything. It's just, like you change Stop. the station and it's on a country station. And you like, change it to like a rap station and it's on that too. <laughs> it's just everywhere. It's everywhere. It's so it annoying. Is. It's getting everywhere and you're just like, I'm no longer happy. You're ruining the happy. <laughs> I don't know. I, I go through phases with songs. Like, I feel like in six months, or like six, if I've gone on a six month happy withdrawal, then I'll yeah. hear it again. I'll be like, oh, oh yeah, I, I like this song. This song. Yeah. I'm the complete opposite. <laughs> okay, so there was a song, oh my gosh, back in middle school. Do you remember that song? Oh my God. Yeah. Baby, mm -hmm. let, I hate that song. Baby, let me Baby love you down. down. So many, many ways, ways to love you. Yeah. And now oh, you hate it, Violet. I hate it. Yeah. Why? There's some kid did it in the talent show in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> and he danced to it. And I would have to, like, watch him practice because I was oh, also in the talent no. show. Oh, no. So you just heard it. And it was yeah. like good? Was he, was he no, a good dancer? No, but that's the thing that made it really bad. He was just a really bad dancer. He didn't have a routine <laughs> dance. He just made he it up dancing. as he went. So, <laughs> sir, your routine was so bad, you ruined the a song, song <laughs> for people. <laughs> for her. But he was sorry. just probably one of those guys that was just like, let me dance. I just didn't oh, like the body I roll. So anyway. He <laughs> heard the splits, which was cool. That was it. That was yeah. his gung ho piece. Yeah. The splits. <laughs> Ended with the he, he was cool though. He went into the crowd and everything. He worked it. <laughs> he just didn't know how to dance. I like it. In any way, shape, or form. No. He's just doing it and then and splits. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Good night. I think we should incorporate that into a lot more and things. Th yeah. Just You're just <laughs> randomly like, you checked out at the grocery store and all your coupons worked. Splits! <laughs> Thank you. Good night. I love it. in regular life. I'm trying to think of a song that. I you used think to think was awesome, and now, um, maybe no, because I still think they're awesome. You're I the like I thing. I like really bad songs, and yeah. I'm and I'm fully okay with that. <laughs> um, like I'm like Cartoon Heroes. That song's great. Um, I never heard the that. Cartoon Heroes. Whoa. What um, song is that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's from a cartoon. I know. Yeah, I like, well, are you sure that's not a cartoon? No, and the from the window to the wall. Oh, to the wall. That song like, never gets that song, old. That song See, never gets old. Until some kid comes up and is like, split. Until some little kid is like, you know, the sweat drips down my <laughs> And then, then you're, like, you're not, Yo, not okay. This isn't, listen, buddy. I'm not okay, little just, one. You just gotta own it. You just gotta own it. Yeah, he's right, yeah. though. You do just have to own it sometimes. <laughs> You're like, look, it's happening. Haven't you ever been that girl? I was that girl in seventh grade, and I look back at it when I was like, Wait. just dancing and just like Please. sweating. You don't have to admit to everybody that the sweat drips just down, down my balls <laughs> on know. the internet. Well, welcome, world. Put that in Reddit. No. <laughs> but really, 
Literally, I remember being that seventh grade girl and like just dripping sweat and just being like, we're dancing. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm not crossfit. I just like to dance. But sometimes I just give up. I'm like, I look ridiculous. I just, I remember halfway through. I'm like. I don't know how to dance. The best thing about Coachella is nobody no knows one how to dance. Yeah, they're all just like, like super No one cares. Ways, you're just like, like you're just oh, feeling yeah. it. Like the music, there's no like way to do it. Trans, you just like kind of flow. And I like when there's like the flow because I've been a, like a couple times mm-hmm. and the one time I remember there was like a flow and we were like, everyone knows that this isn't the right type of music, right? <laughs> it was like some like violin quartet thing. I love thing, it. And everyone's like, what? <laughs> so wait, you both have been in Coachella. Yeah. I've never been in Coachella. I, I go to the Philadelphia Folk <laughs> Festival, oh, but that's Rio. very different. Um, what advice would you give a Coachella noob now that you've done know. it? Bring you just, water? If you can't bring water I know, in. that's not the oh, you worst. Can't. It sucks. If you, you have, have to buy hide it. water anywhere on your person, that's what I would suggest doing. Because you have to buy water, but then those lines are so long, and you're just like, I'm so thir- it's so hot out there, and you're like, so thirsty. I'm going to use my flask to bring water. Yeah, <laughs> just shove it Surprisingly, right on the side. I, there was no lines for water whenever wow. I went. Yeah, really? no lines. There's always... And the place that I went to eat every single time, the place that I only liked, <laughs> never had a lot. It was like a falafel stand. Yeah. That, like, what it was, was it? Like, was it health food? No, it was chicken no. fingers and fries. I had yeah. chicken fingers and fries for three days straight. Three days straight. <laughs> Wait, and what was everybody eating? What were the popular food booths? I don't know. There was like this place like that had pad thai. I tried that, didn't like it. Yeah. So I was like not trying anything else except for chicken fingers. <laughs> She's just like okay. that girl, like, you're, like super earthy, chicken fingers and fries, everybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. No, that is like I think maybe I don't know what news you're supposed to give to Coachella. People. I mean, I think my friend went too with me. She drove up mm-hmm. and she was really stressed out the entire time. Like Why? I feel like you just need to like let go. You just need to be okay with everything. Like nothing is ever gonna turn out the way you want it to. Especially like, not when in you show those up. huge situations. Yeah, you, there's a lot of people. There's man. so many people. So many it's people, so crowded. What do you mean, like, it's so like what, what? How you wanted to turn out? Like getting a good seat and stuff. Well, like that. It's actually so- awful. Coachella's. Awful. <laughs> Don't even go. She just went from it was so awesome to <laughs> awful. Straight up bad. It's hot and sweaty and it like <laughs> you go into the crowd and people smell bad. <laughs> I think oh yeah, this is my this is my So tip. bring nose Leah plugs. had a, yeah. a different experience. She let go. But <laughs> if she was gonna give someone advice, she'd say don't go. <laughs> Let go, but like if you're a stressed out person, just don't go. Uh, but mm. for the people that you really want to see, I would say, um, for the main stage, just go into the back. Like you can still see the stage just fine and like mm. hear the music perfectly. But like but it's it just is so much better than being like crowded and you could dance from far back. And Do your dancing. You can just dance from far so back. So what I'm my mi- my list that I'm making from this is nose plugs. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Arrive early. Uh huh. And and binoculars. She will write those down yes. on the list. Too. She's a list <laughs> yeah. girl. Good, she good. really is. And stay far back from the crowds. The, so that you have room to dance. dance. With you your have chicken room fingers and fries. Bring your dancing yeah. shoes. <laughs> Bring your dancing shoes. Okay. You ready? Here we go, guys. Sarah Perno at Sarah Perno says, mm. "If you could live in any decade, which one would it be, and why?" Hashtag table. Oh. I don't know. There's a whole thing of like women, you know, we've we've been through a lot <laughs> we in have. various decades. It's like oh, a lot. Oh, if we have to take into account <laughs> women's rights, then I, I'm yeah. If you, if you have now? to take into account now, <laughs> now, yeah, exactly. However, if we don't, let's say we have all the same rights, no matter which decade okay, you okay. pick. Let's 19, just say that. Then I would do 1950s because of the A-line dresses. They're perfect for my body type. I agree. 1950s or and hear me <laughs> out. I know that I would kill it in Victorian times. Like, Ooh, super white, girl. thick. Uh, yeah, girl. I'm we puzzled with a lot corsets. of fruit. Yeah, I think that, but then I think I'd be one of those girls that would just be naked on a couch 24-7. Because again, like, uh, just like the thick and then the white, like, pale, pale out. That There's Titanic another. picture. The Titanic oh, yeah. picture. That's you. I would just be that and like one of those people. girls from Paris. <laughs> yeah, just mm-hmm. pass me like a French girl. Yeah, like a French girl. <laughs> I, w- I know that I would kill it in those times, uh, but, uh, yeah, I think A-line dresses. Or no, because I'm so used to technology. I'm an <laughs> asshole. You know? Like, you're like, I'm used to all of it. I'd be so sad. I'd be like, well, just text him, darling. Oh, we can't? There's an operator? Mm-hmm. Okay. Damn it. Yep. <laughs> you know? Rotary phones for life. Rotary phones for life. <laughs> I know. When would you want to live? I don't know. I don't- 
oh, this is hard. Maybe like the 60s or 70s. Yeah, you'd be like a 60s. I was thinking that. You would. You'd be I'm super duper I would bobo. love it. I would be like a little flower child. You already look yeah. like kind of flower like, child. With my long, long hair. Me. And I'd just be like chilling. But like, I love like high-waisted flared pants. I have a pair. Ooh. I've only worn them as like a joke once, but I was like, these are actually cool. Yeah, they're great now. That's and they're awesome. back hard. Yeah. All that 70s stuff is Ooh, coming back. It. I feel I feel like they're no no good for the short girl. Oh, because again, we're yeah. short. You're tall. You got I those have, legs. I have mm-hmm. the legs. Mm-hmm. You got but those not legs. really. My legs, I my friends have a lot longer legs than me. It's it's because they're high waisted. They make yeah. their legs look longer. Yeah. See? So. We'd have to cut them off and then we end up just looking like little like good ship <laughs> lollipop people. I feel <laughs> like we look like that a lot anyway. <laughs> wear this but no i think you would be a good 70s girl you just mm-hmm. go in like a winnebago but and i drive do love around. those dresses yeah the a-line dresses that you're talking about they're mm-hmm. so cute i but like think some like of the long and boho with big sleeves and then you'd be like dancing to mama cass at woodstock <laughs> mm-hmm. you'd woodstock. be on point woodstock see? there you yeah. go that's, that's, the time. Time. I, that's the time i yeah. would definitely go 1950s <laughs> yeah, uh you would greaser dudes are hot oh my god i want to yeah. yeah. go to sock hops and do the hop and I then know. go get an ice cream soda afterwards that does sound okay really wait 50s yeah nice. i'm feeling the 50s yeah. greasers like their hair oh yeah and, and white jackets. t-shirts uh-huh. I know. motorcycles really we're all just obsessed with the movie grease i think so that's not what the 50s were really like, but in our minds. In our minds, that we're like, duh. Like, there's no beating your wife. No, there's no, you know. Oppression. <laughs> there's none of that. None of the, like, you have to cook dinner. Yeah, we're like, we're <laughs> glorifying it. We want to live in the movie Grease. Yep. Yep, done. Or uh, the movie about Pony Boy, because all those cute guys Oh, are yeah. There. <laughs> well, well, we yeah, all those guys, guys are cute. Outsiders, yeah. I know how you would know. Outsiders is such a good movie. Outsiders <laughs> is such a good movie. It was a good... I remember reading the book and being like, bleh, and then watching the movie and being like, I love this. <laughs> I'm not saying it had anything to do I with like, the Teen Beat actors they cast in it. That. Yeah, <laughs> Rob Lowe, I was like, oh, oh. I didn't finish the book. I, I was supposed to. I didn't. And then, then you I watched the movie. Yeah, and then the teacher like brought it in. I was like, I could get with this. Yeah, yes, I, I could get with this. Oh, yeah. Literally, no. all the girls in class were just like, ah. Oh. And all the guys are like, this movie's lame. Whatever. It's such a lame movie. <laughs> they still make you read The Outsiders. That's so crazy. There's certain really? books that they just make you read, like yeah. Huckleberry Finn and all those ones. <sighs> I know. And you're like, there's a lot of other Huckleberry good Huckleberry Finn out was there. another one. The book was a no go, but that but movie. Jonathan Taylor Thomas with Brad Renfro. <laughs> This oh, is how you get young girls to read. <laughs> They're like, never read Twilight, Rob Pattinson. I'm gonna read all the Hunger Twilight. Hunger Games diver. I mean, it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. No. <laughs> you just put a hot guy in there, and they're good to go. Literally a love triangle, and it's it's a yeah, bestseller it's now. Yeah, it's a bestseller. Exactly. Oh, maybe we should write our own. We should. Right? We should write a bestseller. I don't know. We should totally write a Two bestseller. Two ridiculously good-looking guys happen to fight over pretty average girl. Oh, but this is- she has superpowers. Boom! Ah! Who knew? Ah, we wrote it. It was so good. <laughs> oh, and everybody know that it. she has superpowers. Oh, Until the second book. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She has to we be quiet. A yeah, we have to make that sequel. Yeah. Are you kidding me? It's happening. All right, and then Lee's gonna start the movie. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna Yay, be. I'm gonna that. go with superpowers. Yes. <laughs> no, you're too pretty to be that girl. Though. No, she oh. is. She can do it. I see. And look at this pigtail. Oh, immediate. Nerd. Oh, well, look she's all that. Or what is nerd. what you're saying? Glasses and pigtails. Some glasses and like pigtails. Yeah. Little mask. Yeah. See, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Because it's a futuristic uh, society, so yeah. everyone yes. dresses yeah. different. Everyone dresses differently. Also See? to add to it. Done. Immediate pigtails. Uh, Sorry, I ruined her hair. I did it. <laughs> Go, <laughs> I'm going. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Mix it all up. we do ba do ba do Oh. What is the weirdest peer pressure situation you've ever been in? <gasps> I don't. A weird is actually a really good way to do that. Because there's been peer pressure. I mean, everyone's had peer pressure where they've been like, smoke this, do yeah. this, drink this. <laughs> and everyone's had those situations. They tell you to like, do something you don't want to do. I, most of my weird peer pressures have been in this office. Yeah, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> More than likely. It's okay. It's okay. Just bob for these meatballs in this <laughs> vat of marinara sauce. Yeah, Just do it. Don't be a wuss. That is totally your, this is your peer pressure situation. I think the weirdest one I've ever had is, um, is like, when it comes to doing like crazy death defying stuff. When they're like, come on, oh. just jump off this rock with us. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And then Damn. like later you go, why did I do 
that. Does like, that happen when you're so... on top of the rock? Or yeah, when you like when you're on top of the rock water? and like, no, and like everyone's jumping off of it and you're like, well, they are making it look easy. And then when you get down off the rock, I did that a lot. Like there's this place called Bass Lake up where I'm from. Hmm. And we jump off these cliffs all the time that like how none of us died was beyond oh me. God. But like literally they'd be like, come on, just jump, just jump, just jump. And like looking down, you're like, it's so huge. It's so big. Then you just do it, and then you like get in the water and you look up and you're like, I'm an idiot. <laughs> like, I did that by, by where I grew up. There's these abandoned train tracks that go over a river Shit and they're up. really high up. And that's what we would like, people would walk across it. And like, if you didn't walk across it, like, you're a huge wuss. I walk like, across if it. If a train comes, you're screwed. If they're abandoned, there's okay, no trains on those good. tracks. Well, I know. If a train comes, you're screwed. Too. But there's no, there hasn't been trains on those tracks for years, of course, probably until I walk across it. And yeah. <laughs> surprise always, train. And then surprise train. <laughs> I'm always pretty good in like peer pressure. I'm like, no, I'm good. Thank you. Like, I remember from a very young age, my mom was like, you don't have to say yes to anything. I was like, got it. <laughs> um, can I do? But yeah, I think that's like, I'm always okay with that kind of peer pressure, but anytime it's like something that I'm going to miss out on fun, I'm like, mm. I got to jump off those cliffs. I guess I, I have to do it. it. I'm going to risk my life today. That's what's going to happen. What's your peer pressure moment? What's your pressure moment? Ooh. I mean, there have been some bad things. I don't want to talk about it on camera, though. <laughs> but like, that's but okay. We're not going to peer pressure yeah, you. We're going to peer pressure you. Just talk about it on camera. Yeah. But then there's just like silly stuff that like when I film and stuff and there's just like, like the they make you do thing. ridiculous shit. And I'm just like, like, get covered in whipped cream. Okay. And like, <laughs> like you just gotta do it, you know? Or yeah. Else. And then like you don't wanna be the person you that's like. You just gotta the... do it or else I'll make funny oh, yeah. Yeah. And you won't get paid. Also. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, well, yeah, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. That's true. Do you understand me? It doesn't matter. You are matter. your own rainbow. But no, peer pressure happens everywhere, I think. It's one of those things. You are right. your own rainbow. You are your own rainbow. What other weird peer pressure thing of, things have happened in this office? Leah, I know you've been peer pressured into wacky stuff. Oh, I've been peer pressured into stuff. a lot of wacky stuff. <laughs> I'm sure of it. I think I was peer pressured into, like, posing for Maxim. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, but those pictures but are beautiful. But they were completely... Close. My mother told me multiple times how much she was proud of me on that front. You know, you're the only one. You're the only girl that had clothes on. You're the only girl that had (laughs) clothes on. In the maximum time. I think it's mainly like I don't think it's a peer pressure thing. I was okay with that. I thought it was like really wonderful that our fans did that. But it was also one of those things where I'm like, I am one of those girls that doesn't know how to do the the you know the, the French girl poses. So I'm always like. You got you uh, got to work on your French girl if you're going to be in the hell, Victorian age. Right here. What hell? It's always <laughs> just the most like look off it's and then I'm like, well, I'm cross-eyed in this. Uh-huh. And I'm like, yeah, we know. We don't know how to tell you. Well, that's why you take like 50 bajillion <laughs> pictures. And then one of them. And inevitably, one. you'll get a few good ones. You just Photoshop both yeah. of them together. Have you done a lot of photo shoots, Leah? No, I mean, really? I just, that surprises I me. Already. You're so pretty that I feel no. like everyone would be wanting I can't to take, take your picture. pictures. I can't Are you take one of those? I, one I'm of so those. awkward. I and then uh, I can't take selfies either. Do you want to see me try and take a selfie? Yes, because it, really, it takes Absolutely. forever. Does it take forever? It takes me like a long, long time to even get it going. Usually, it's not good. I All feel right. like my selfies are awful. That's because pretty good. Here, do one with us. That's pretty good. Get in. Okay. Get in. Are we gonna, mm. if, I, if I don't look good in this, I'm not gonna post it. Here we go. See, I don't get the right angle. Like, mm. look, I don't look. See, we need to get you one of those poles. I feel and like it's gonna go. Oh, like, a vlog yeah, I, need, pole. I need one of the poles. A little vlog pole, and but then you're gonna be that girl with a vlog pole. I don't mm. mind. At least I look good myself. Have, <laughs> <your phone. laughs> Have you tried the top down selfie? Top down. It's a top down thing. Ready? Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. Guys, you're watching someone. This is such a 2014 thing. You're watching someone take a selfie. <laughs> I, I think that's like the I Instagram look, picture. I feel like I kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Looking Please somewhere else. talking. This is amazing. Welcome to 2014. Yes. Welcome to 2014. Um, you Instagram should choose video. to live in this decade. Yeah, absolutely. Selfies. It just happened. But first, let me take a selfie. So what's your favorite way to take selfies? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't and forget to like, subscribe, click this annotation and all that good stuff. If you want to join in on the conversation, you can go to Twitter and uh, hashtag Table Talk, whatever you'd like us to talk about, or you can go to Reddit dot com slash r slash source fed. Yes, and Lee, what do you have coming up? Do you have anything wonderful coming what up? What do I have coming up? I can't think of anything right now. Where can <laughs> people find you? Where can people find Twitter. you? Twitter. Follow Twitter. Me on Twitter. Liam Reed Johnson, and my Instagram is legit underscore Leah. Ooh, someone legit stole my name. Leah. Are you? Le- oh, but I like legit no. Leah. It's I like legit cool. Leah. No, a lot Rihanna's more. Instagram is bad girl Riri. Oh, oh. See, you have to go along legit with that. Leah. Legit Leah. So I gotta keep it OG. Mm-hmm. You know? I love Total it. OG. <laughs> Real. Thank legit. You for with us. I love it. Oh, 
Burning Man. This is fun. It's wonderful. We're going to go to Burning Man together now. We are. We're all going to go to Burning Man. And we'll arrive early.